somebody is suggesting you to measure your clothes, somebody giving you wazifa, close your eyes, do this, read this, and I want to tell you nothing of all these silly things belong to tasabbuf and suluk and taika and marifa. This is just mis misguidance. These are money makers. And the people, the TV and channel owners who are doing this, they have nothing to do with the service of deen. This is just their business. They have to earn money. They may get from any way. Whether they get it from bringing a blame to deen, or bringing a wrong name to the sabuf and suluk and tariqah and marifa, whether to put deen and the sabuf and suluk, mazallah astaghfirullah in a hell, whether they can bring the singers, or they can bring the dancers, or they can bring the magicians, or they can bring these characters. doing damage to Allah's deen and holy prophet Syria and doing a great damage to Marifa and Tariqa and Suluk. Suluk is this what Maulana Rum has mentioned. This is the sabbuf. The awliya Allah in 14, 13 centuries of Islam never did and never recommended these silly kinds of acts which are being recommended through TV in the name of Sufi Baba and Peer Baba and Peer Online and, and uh, I don't know what is happening over here. In the name of Tasabbuf and Tariqa and Marifa, there can't be any bigger enmity of Islam and Deen and Sharia and Tariqa, Suluk and Marifa and Tasabbuf bigger than this. And who are their customers? We. Who are their customers? Do they get their customers from heavens? Tell me. From Bradford, <laughs> from Nelson, from London, from Belgium, from England, people living in England and UK, highly qualified families, Western families living here, having awareness, having consciousness, having knowledge. The people who came here 30, 40 years before, they are quite conscious and they are well aware of the things. And they are sending pounds like the rivers and like seas on them. And the iman of the new generations is being distorted. This is what Molana Room is stating, that these are the wrong claimant of Sufi Pipirs. Then the Sheikh the Saleh, who was Allah's friend and who was sent by Almighty God, he came and he started treating and curing that girl. He asked the king that I want some seclusion. If you leave us all together alone, just briefly finalizing and the whole thing. He put his hands, the king gave them a privacy. He put his hands on the pulse of that lady, of that girl. Now he starts the diagnostic process. He put his hands on the pulse. And then he started asking various questions from her. Various questions from her. Where are you are from, my daughter? Which is your city? The king opened his hands. No, no. And that perfect physician, that Tabib Kamil, Sheikh Kamil, started asking various questions. While putting his hands on her pulse, he went on asking various questions. And he was watching the color of her face, the palpitation of her pulse, the condition of her eyes. He was inspecting each and everything. 
He saw her pain. He saw her concern. And he understood that something is wrong with her. And the illness is not related to her body. Illness is related to her heart. And he understood that he has fallen. She herself has fallen into love of someone. King has fallen into love of her. Ru has fallen into love of Nafs. And Naf itself has fallen into love of something else. Nafs became the beloved of Ru, spirit. And the soul who has become the beloved of the spirit itself has become lover of something else. He wanted to trace, diagnose who is the beloved of Nafs, beloved of soul. This was the diagnostic process. And then Murana Room says that the ailment of the lover is separate from all other ailments. And the ailment of love cannot be understood unless somebody has experienced the ailment of love. So he very gently went on asking, where is your native town? He, he said to that girl that for every suitable, all people of each town is separate. So tell me, which is your native town? And then he asked, she told, this is my, that is my town. He asked, who are your relatives? Who are your friends over there? Just name me, name them. She started naming one by one. He asked about her kinships, her relationships, her friendships, her companies, which she used to have in her native town. He was an expert. While he was asking the questions, he was carefully putting hands and fingers on her pulses and watching the palpitation of the pulse. And he was watching the color of her face. Went on listening to her story which she continued and he was watching carefully the beating of pulse so that whatsoever name her pulse should begin to throb he would understand the here lies the object of her soul of her nafs here lies the desire of her nafs he continued up to the friends her relatives her cities towns from town to town she mentioned the name of a certain town. Then she mentioned the name of another town. Then she mentioned the name of another town. And this was the process going on. Finally, he was asking about various towns. And finally, when he asked about Samarkand, a city near Bukhara, when he reached to that city, the reason of asking is, that there are lot many ailments of nafs. When nafs is ill, soul is ill, and soul falls into love of something, it doesn't mean that every soul will get into love with gains, with wealth, with money. No, there are different ailments of nafs. Somebody's soul has fallen into love of money. Somebody's soul has fallen into love of the position. Somebody's soul has fallen into love of the power. Somebody's soul has fallen into love of his children. Somebody's soul has fallen into the sexual loves and lusts and propensities. Somebody's soul has fallen into love of arrogance. Somebody's soul has fallen into love of various other worldly players. So this ailment differs from man to man, from soul to soul, from person to person. So the Kamil physician, the perfect one, he diagnoses which kind of ailment does exist in this particular soul.